So I'm going to jump on the M101 bandwagon and I'm going to give it a go tonight, try and get a couple of hours and hopefully capture that supernova. So here in the observatory again, and it's going to be clear all night. I know for sure we've got one clear night. So if we get any more clear nights in the coming week, I'm going to stick with this target and see how many hours I can get. Right, so the targets. Tonight, I'm going to be shooting the pinwheel M101 with this rig. And there's a good chance Glenn from Astro Bloke will be shooting the same target with his setup and we may well do a little collaboration, put our data together and see what we can come up with. Um, this rig out here, at the moment, I have no idea what I'm gonna be shooting yet. I'm gonna have a quick look on Stellarium and uh, see if I can pick a nice target with 400 mil and see what I can get out of that field of view. So I'm just gonna finish setting everything up and wait for it to get dark. So I'm just gonna have a quick look on Stellarium and see what target I can pick for my Asgard 400. I have to move it on a bit, so it's a little bit darker. We're looking at nearly 11 o'clock for it's dark properly. And what can we see? NGC 7822, 400 mil. That's what I'll get in the frame. Right, so NGC 7822, at about 11 o'clock it's 30 degrees and it's going up all night so that would be a good target right so i'm having to do a bit of improvisation here due to the fact that i've only got one weight so what i've done i've found a piece of lead and i'm going to make my own i'm going to put it on here i'm not sure if this is going to work yet but i'm going to um tie it on with these cable ties and just see, I'm going to try and keep it so it stays still. I don't want it to move around. And uh, hopefully, this will give me enough weight that I need. I need to get another weight. I've got four in total, but I've got three on the uh, rig in the observatory. So, that's on my shopping list is another weight for this HUQ5 rig. I can't balance the rig as it is with just this one weight. So what I've done here is taped a piece of lead on the end of the weight here and I've cable tied it on and I've covered it in tape as well so it won't move. Now um, I do realise this is not the proper way to do it. Uh, I do need another weight and I will be getting one. But um, it's going to be clear all night tonight and I didn't want to miss out on that. So I'm running two rigs tonight. So let me just check that it's balanced it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That looks nicely balanced to me. That will do. That will get me out of a model for tonight anyway. So uh, a bit of improvisation, but that will do. So I'll quickly go over this rig. This is the ATQ5. And my latest rig I've put together, this is the Asgar 400 5.6. And I built it with these two Losmani plates. And inside here, I've got the Pegasus Powerbox Advance. I'm running the ASIF Pro and this the ZWO EAF. Right, the main camera is the ZWO 2600 MC Pro. And there's just a little mini guide scope 30mm f4, and it's the 120 mini USB 3 camera there. Right, so this is the little portable rig. Now we'll go in to look at the other one in, in the observatory. Right, this one, is the EQ6R Pro and scope is the Skywatch Esprit 120. And here I've got another Pegasus Powerbox Advance and that's the Evo Guide 50 AD guide scope. Here I'm running the ASI Air Plus and that little camera is the ASI 120 Mini, that's the USB 2 version. I've got a ZWO automatic focuser on here, EAF, 
And the camera on this one is the 2600 mm pro and this is a set of um Andalia filters three nanometer lrgb ha s2 and o3 so it's not quite dark enough yet to pull it online i'm gonna give it a few more minutes but i will be using the optron dipolar which i find very accurate so give it a few more minutes and i'll be able to get polar aligned So this is my first 10 minute sub of M101 about to pop up. Any second now, it's just loading in. There we go. And there you can spot the supernova. I'll try to point to it. But there. So finally got started at 13 minutes past 11 and I've just um, started a session of 20 10 minute subs going and when the first 10 minute sub come in we'll have a look at that and this is back with the Alex room filter in so I've refocused again and um, yeah those guiding numbers need to come down a little 4.34 oh it's down to 2 yeah it's on its way down yeah, it's coming down Point eight, here we go, that's better, point seven, seven nine. Right, okay, we're up and running. So here we have the first 10 minute sub. That's looking rather good. Yeah, I like that, that's with the Alex Dream and the stars are absolutely spot on. 